Welcome back to another mailbag first out of the box. This was intended to be a light for my refugium in my saltwater reef tank. That's a place where you grow uh, Cato or Chato grass and other things to try and keep the 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 water clean and, and remove the pollutants. But this thing is way, way, way too big. So I have no idea what we're going to do with this. Put a comment down below if you know what we should do with this LED grow light, besides the obvious. <laughs> I believe these are 18650s, but I'm not sure because I haven't had them out yet. Yep, 18650 cells. These are going, these are just no namers I grabbed from eBay. Um, I'm not sure how good they're going to be, time will tell. But uh, I'll post the link, obviously, to these, and we'll see how they go. This is going to be a 4S1P 4-cell pack uh, for the Nano Talons, <laughs> as you'll see. We're going to give them a try on lithium-ion. This pack should run uh, the Nano Talon for well over an hour, so pretty amazing stuff. Going to give them a go. Big thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this episode and making quality PCBs available at reasonable prices. Make sure you check them out for your next electronics project, as well check out their advanced PCB services for more industrial or high precision uses. Check out their shared projects page as well, where you can share your project and earn 10% commission on your first one. Next up, this is just silicone wire for RC or actually any use. Good high quality 10 gauge silicone wire. So heavy duty stuff, good for really high amps. It's actually a little, you really don't need 10 gauge on a quadcopter or anything, but uh, it's, it's overkill, but we've got it. Next up, got some modules. These are HCO6 Bluetooth modules. Now, I've used the HCO5s on the channel uh, going back years now. It's one of my kind of higher performing videos back in the day. Don't go watch it. My old videos are horrible, but uh, just standard 3.3 volt logic level uh, Bluetooth module. But this can act as slave or master, the HCO6, where I believe the HCO5s can only do slave mode. So handy dandy, what we may do with this is pair this up on the Nano Talon. Um, not on the Nano Talon itself, on, on the ground station, and just take the 3DR telemetry receiver and pipe it right into the Bluetooth module, and then I can get the telemetry on my phone from this or any other Bluetooth-enabled device. It's kind of a neat hack because, um, because you're just talking serial. You can just hook these straight up. Next is a package with my address all over it, so... <laughs> I'll dump them out. These are SX1278 LoRa modules. These are 433 megahertz LoRa, which should be pretty handy for also telemetry tests on one of my uh, my Nano Talons to send telemetry back down to the ground for some search and rescue type projects. But yeah, nifty. Just just a handy little package. GPS module. This is the BN220 GPS module. Uh, absolutely wonderful GPS module. This is the one that I have on the Nano Talon. It's very small, as you can see, and it, it latches onto sats quickly. It holds them. They just work great. Um, the, I think it's using the U-Blox um, protocol. Uh, yeah, I'd have to check, but I'm pretty sure it's U-Blox. Pretty standard stuff. You can also configure them, but out of the box, they just work and comes with a nice harness uh, that's able to plug into my flight controllers easily. I just love it. I can't say enough about these. I'm highly impressed with that little GPS module. So you can use that with Arduino or ESP32 Raspberry Pi projects as well. JST connectors. These are going to be used for the balance lead for that 18650 pack. Not much to it. It's just male and female connecting connections and I also have an assortment of the pre-made connectors but it's easier for in this case to just slice off the uh, pre-made harness and use it for a balance lead so should work speaking of 18650s this is a nifty little 
rig that I picked up from Amazon. This is a six cell smart charger. This will work for everything from 18650 batteries to AA, AAA, you name it. In fact, I think it's called out on the back of the package. Yeah, here's all the different battery formats that it supports. Everything up from uh, AA, or actually Quad A, I've never even seen one of those, up to C size. It won't fit a D cell, obviously, because of the uh, spacing. So you couldn't cram it in there. Well, I imagine you could. <laughs> You'd have to do some jumpers. But yeah, that was just, it was not a very expensive from Amazon. And the reason I picked this up is I have pretty much the same unit already over there that I use, but it only has four bays. My, now that I'm flying a fair bit, uh, I have Antelope batteries in my QX7 transmitter. And with four bays, I have to charge four batteries, then two more. This will allow me to do all six at once, which is major, major time saver for me. That's why I picked it up. We'll give it a go. I doubt I'll do a full review on it. If you're interested in how it's working, just drop me a line. <laughs> I got two of these just on a whim. LED party light. It has, well, it came through kind of beat to hell in the shipping box because they were just loose in an envelope. But this is a kind of party strobe light system. And I don't know how often I will use it, but what I thought it would be fun for, winter is coming here and I'll be back to flying my little micro quads in the house once in a while. And I thought it would be really fun to set up a little obstacle course. I meant to do it last year with some of these glow sticks. I think I even had them on a mailbag. Had a whole bunch of these um, around Halloween. I think it I think it'd be fun to fly around through the kind of neat colors and whatever. So there's what it's kicking out. And can you see it on the back? Yeah, a little bit. That's the kind of pattern in that case. And then there's all different patterns that you can switch to different flash modes and whatnot. <laughs> it's a goofy little thing. But I think that would be really fun to have in kind of the darkened basement with some glow sticks and set up an obstacle course for the micro quads or the nano quads or whatever size you want to call them now. I think that would be a blast. A good, like when the weather's horrible, the winters are long here. That'd be, I think that's going to be fun. Let me know what you guys think. Another one, you've seen this before in the channel. This is the FC722 Wing Flight Controller. I got another one. It's performing so well on the Nano Talon. I got another one of these. It's, I, I love this flight control board. I, I have nothing bad to say about it. And the reason I got that is because I got myself another Nano Talon, a complete kit that we should be able to use. Well, We'll see. I'm not sure whether I'll build this up right away or whether I'll use it at a later date, but this should, uh, this should come together on the channel as another build on top of the one that I'm already building, but maybe for a slightly different purpose. Either way, it'll have full iNav autopilot in it and should just be a great little bird. That's it for today. Join me on Patreon down below if you like supporting this kind of content. Uh, hit me up on Discord, which is also linked down below, where you can chat with my, myself and other people 24-7. Cheers, guys. Have a good one.